Hi guys, today I'm going to give you five reasons of why you're going to want to root your Android device today. Number one is going to be custom ROMs. There's a number of ROMs out there depending on what device you have and they're all made by uh, third party developers and they do a damn good job with each mod. Uh, the most popular mod is probably going to be Cyanogen mod which is one I personally use and one I would recommend to anybody. It's a really good build, it has a bunch of uh, included features and performance tweaks and adjustments and it's just one of the best ROMs to have. There's also a bunch of other ROMs such as Slim Bean which is a Jelly Bean byproduct that has the feel of Jelly Bean and smoothness uh, here and there depending on what version you have, what build, and what device of course. Along with custom ROMs we also have custom kernels which include extra features, extra performance tweaks, extra everything. Uh, you really have to look into it for your particular device but they're definitely worth looking into you should definitely check those out next up is probably one of my favorites it's Wi-Fi tethering now you're thinking of course I could do Wi-Fi tethering I just gotta call my provider and have the uh, tethering plan yes that is true but with rooting you don't have to worry about having a Wi-Fi tether plan because it comes free all you have to do is download the Wi-Fi tether program and you're good to go it's a really simple program you set your SSID the access password and that's pretty much it you get ready to Wi-Fi it up Next up is special applications. Now there are some applications in the Play Store that require a rooted phone or rooted device to actually uh, use. You know, this is because you need super user privileges to access certain parts of the phone that otherwise you wouldn't be able to access without. So uh, one of my favorites is probably Titanium Backup which allows you to do a full image backup of your phone. Uh, you could backup certain apps, you could backup all your apps, you could backup certain files and it's just a great tool to have. Uh, if you flashing from one ROM to another trying different ones out you don't have to keep reinstalling applications you could just back it up and uh, once you have put the new ROM on restore the files and there you go that's simple great to use another one would be root explorer you could get into the deep files that are in your phone the system files the operating system files every file is accessible with root explorer definitely great to have and another cool one is called uh, screencast which is a screen recording program which you could record your screen. Use it a couple times. I don't really use it too often because I don't have a need to as of yet, but when the need comes, I can do it and I will do it. Another great reason is removing those bloatware apps that come with most phones. Uh, if you get a phone from AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, they usually have those crappy AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile apps that just linger on the phone, acting useless. If you root your phone, you will be able to remove those apps and it will free up a lot of space. Those apps are completely useless and I never use them. Maybe you do, I personally don't and I hate them. A lot of people do hate them. Get rid of them. Root it. Another great feature is performance boosts. Now Cyanogen has some performance boosts but not all Cyanogen versions have it. So let's say you don't have it, you download a program called Set CPU. You can overclock your CPU from let's say 1.4 in my case up to 1.6. Or you can downclock it to, I don't know, 1.2 or even 1 gigahertz if you want to save some battery life. It gives you full control Rooting gives you access to every single thing you want to do to your phone. It basically turns it into a little PC. You have access to every single item you wish to touch. And the last and final reason I want to point out is because you can. You are free to do anything you want with your Android device. And if you are able to root it and expand its performance and capabilities, then why not root it? It's really easy to do these days. There's a program called Super One Click. I'm not going to say it works with all the Android devices, but it should work with most. And it's definitely worth checking out. I'll put a link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.